Welcome to Bullman Built RC if you've never been here before. Welcome back if you have. Today we are going to go over all the things I got at the swap meet. My dad bought some uh, printed foams. These are not anti-foams. They're not even the printed foams that I use. Randomly just stumbled across them. They look like they'd be really soft. However, that second layer is pretty thick. The wall thickness on these verticals right here is pretty thick. So we're going to go ahead and try them see what happens uh, in worst case scenario he only paid 20 bucks for all four of them so they could be terrible they could be great who knows we'll find something to run them in so that is something he got next I picked these up these are TGH wheels team garage hack I think these are called like tins or something I can't remember what they're called anywho uh, I got these they were actually assembled I disassembled them on a live and uh, you know, just pick them up. I think I'm going to actually have them sent out to uh, be anodized. The silver is just, you know, just calling to be crazy colored. That way I can never sell them and I have to just keep them on the wall or keep them on a truck forever because they're worth more in value than they'll ever be to someone else. So, anywho, also got these uh, Voodoo KLRMs. Uh, they have some sort of foam in them. These say blue and red. I know, I'm pretty sure these are the dual stage. They got the like hairnet looking thing in there and then the white foam. I didn't know that the white foam came in different stages or whatever. So maybe they do, maybe they don't. I haven't done a whole lot of research on them. I've only been home a couple days and I've only really started digging into this stuff. Really, really looking at it in uh, depth. So that is another thing I got. I did get the hubs and all the bolts are here and everything, but I just took them all apart. So. Uh, anyway, that is the only set of wheels I got, somehow. Next! And I know it's just a clear body, but this is actually a Wraith Bronco body. Uh, these are super cool to build tubers around. This one has a spider in it. I just noticed that. Get out of here, spider. It is missing the cage and it is missing the decals. However, these bodies are really cool to use and they're semi-hard to find. So I went ahead and picked this up. It was pretty cheap for a Lexan body. Um, and I don't have a plan for it. I don't really need it, but it was cheap enough that I figure now I can use the one that I have out of pack and I can leave this one kind of in pack, even though it's not complete. Maybe I can find the other parts for it or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe, you know, I'm like Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm just collecting bodies. Next. All right, a couple of the very few things I got from Mr. Mike Kirby at the K&K &K swap meet. Uh, if you don't know who Mike is, he is actually the guy that owns K&K. &K. One of the things that I was really surprised that he had was this set of uh, 450 comp cut inner with the firm or medium outers. Um, I went right before everybody was packing up and found these. I don't know how they were still sitting there. With crawling being so big, I'm not sure what happened. But I got those, and then I also got some scale hubs and some cool little shock limiting straps. Here's my little limiter straps. Uh, not sure how long they are, probably what, three and four inches, something like that. And then I got these hubs. Uh, I don't have a driver for them, so that kind of sucks. So I'll have to wait until I actually have it. But I've got two with a locker. This one's a little mangled. Like your mom. And then two with like a uh, full floater style. Then I also got four random nuts that I don't know what these go to. Like I said, Mike, if, especially if he's in a good mood, will just start throwing things your way and uh, making you deals. You both go home happy, all that stuff. So uh, if you ever have a chance to interact with that guy, super solid dude. Next, we have some cans of paint. Uh, there was a guy over there and he was selling a bunch of these cans for $5 each. The other day, I threw one of the fiery orange cans across the room by accident, picked it up, and then now I just did the exact same thing with the exact same can of paint. Maybe it was this one, maybe it was the other one. However, there's two cans of fiery orange. Uh, then I got a fluorescent orange, the Pactra Lime, Lime Ice. This is just candy blue from Pactra as well. And then a Corsa Gray from Tamiya. Uh, I made him an offer, bought all six of them for 20 bucks, so basically, five dollars a piece got two free however you want to call that uh, I still use cans every once in a while um, so I don't use my airbrush as much just to do like big base colors so I figured what the hell for five dollars a piece those things are like 12 13 bucks can't beat it with a stick next a 
Polar Pro 540 Stubby 2700. Pick that up. It is brand new in box. The next one I bought is a Mamba X with a Deans and the Holmes Polar Pro 2200. It has a nice long sensor cord. Uh, it does have a Deans plug, so I'll have to change that or have Doug or Jordan change that if I'm being completely honest. Also got another Mamba. Um, this one is just the, I mean, it looks pretty good. Doesn't smell burnt. Comes with a 2280 Castle. Tiny little short sensor and wire. Um, and then the uh, XT60 plug, everything looked good, didn't smell burnt, nothing looks terrible. Uh, it does have one little motor mount hole right there that's messed up a little bit, but nothing that's too crazy. This one I actually got from Jordan. This is a 1900 slate. I have a thought that maybe my comp truck I'm going to want to slow down a little bit. So I got a 1900. This one I got from my good buddy Jim. This is a 2850. Now this is more in the line of what I run. He said, hey, if you want that, uh, just consider one of those new shirts paid for. So, <clears throat> if you're a fan of the channel, I am having new shirts made, and that was Jim's way of paying for it. So Jim has now pre-ordered a shirt. Makes me happy. So that's all the electronics I got. Now on to some bigger stuff. Next! But moving on up just a little bit, I got this. I picked it up, it was pretty cheap. Uh, it looks good. It's not beat to death. It's not perfect, but for just a nice shelf item, it's uh, it'll do. One thing that I don't like is, as you can tell, someone did not take the clear plastic off the wing before they put the decals on. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, it's not bad. It looks good on the shelf. It'll look good from 10 feet away. It's got a little crack up here. I did notice the rear drive belt is uh, about that close to shredding apart so probably not going to be a runner if i do it'll be something super tame and then i'll find another belt and just kind of just run around maybe on some carpenter stuff uh, it does have i mean it's it's had some road rash so like i said it's not perfect but it'll be a cool display model <clears throat> and i did get the box as you can see there and i got another pair of wheels that i have no idea what they're off of and uh, i got it for pretty cheap so i can't really complain next another thing that i needed like a freaking hole in the head was a k5 body but i have an idea and i really want to build a suburban now to go with my crew cab so i want to build another nice truck i will have this sent out i did not pay 140 for it um, and I'll have this sent out to the guy that did my crew cap, uh, Mr. Scott Limpert of Scott's Custom Styrene Creations, or Scott's Styrene Custom Creations, one or the other, I can't remember. Anyway, I will send this out to Scott. I'll have him build a correct Suburban. A lot of people that you see use different kits and stuff. The rear windows aren't really quite right. The doors don't touch. If you're going to do it, do it right. Next! On my Tania hunt... I got this thing. It is a Tamiya FF03. Comes with a body. I think that's made by like Pandora, Panda, something. It's painted okay. I won't just throw it out for now. Uh, it's a 10 footer. Some of the things like this are weird where that rear window should have been painted a little nicer. It looked good flying around a track, but I don't plan on running this, so uh, that won't happen. Uh, this is ready to run. So if you've never seen one of these before, it is a front-wheel drive Tamiya car. It does have um, just the stock wheels and tires. I believe this is a new style Civic. The crazy thing is this has a Titan 550 motor in it out of like a Emacs or a, um, something along those lines. So it's a big motor. So it's really heavy up front, and I bet this thing has a lot of scoot coming out of corners and things like that if you can get the, if you can get the traction. So, <clears throat> the rear springs are very, very stiff. Uh, it's got a lot of preload in it. I don't plan on doing much with this. It'll probably just be a running shelf queen. Uh, not a shelf queen, I guess I should say. Uh, just a shelf car, just to kind of sit and look cool. Um, I do plan on slamming it, putting a different body on it, because this body is super cool. But, like I said, it's not really painted all that super well. And they chopped out the front bumper, which super sucks. But other than that, um, I think if you hammer this thing down, like, see, that'd look cool just chilling on the shelf. And uh, that's what I think I'm going to do. So I'll probably get some decent wheels for it. Because I don't know if these things will clean up. They've got some little bumps and bruises, but 
I'm in no hurry. So it'll just sit on the shelf. So that's another thing I got. Next! Now, the 14 of you that didn't just click away because I started doing Tamiya touring cars instead of crawler stuff, which is what my channel is basically based around, we have something else. One of my friends named Eric decided that he did not want his straight axle Phoenix. So now I have a straight axle Phoenix. This will honestly probably become my class zero truck. I have a body on the way. Um, it is not your normal class zero Toyota for sure. So I got a body for it coming. Um, it does have a motor in it. I doubt I use that. I'll probably end up putting a straight VFD in this just to drop some weight. And then I don't know, take all the fenders off basically just do comp truck stuff to it. Put a big nasty wild servo in it that goes when you hit the wheel. And uh, that's really it. It's not anything too crazy. I got a good deal on this and uh, picked it up. So got that. Next! This is the base for the Operation 11 Charlie giveaway truck. I got this from Mr. K&K himself, Mike Kirby. I will be getting rid of the cage and I will be getting rid of the wheels and tires to make some money back. This is a giveaway truck and I am fronting all of the money to begin with. Some of my friends and some of my viewers have also given a little bit of money, given parts, etc, etc to this build. Super excited to actually have this in my hands now because now I can say this is the truck instead of we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. I got tired of sounding like a guy that never was gonna get anything done. Next! One of the cooler things I got for sure is this little guy. I got this off a guy named Mike. Everybody calls him Snoop. Snoop Dogg? Snoopy? Snoop? Snoopalicious? I'm not sure what that whole nickname thing going on is. But anyway, I got this. So, this is a NWSD Derringer. Tiny little short wheelbase guy. And then he has a 3D, well he had, now I have, a 3D printed interior for it. So this is very, very nice. So this has been painted in this like uh, peachy tan, whatever color. Uh, the driver has been printed. They're both very, very nice. Um, the only spot you can really tell that it's kind of a little rough is maybe on the top of his hands. I wouldn't have taken the time to sand his hands. Uh, this has a nice little texture to it, but it's not like that rough texture. It just looks like it has a pattern in it. Fits directly over this for this chassis, uh, kind of like so. And then, uh, you know, if your tape holds, I'm not sure exactly how this is supposed to go together permanently. Um, it goes there like that. Then you got your glass, and then you have your bug body. Sits like that. We'll put it up on like some 419s or maybe some Class Zero tires, something along those lines. And it should be super cool. I don't have a real plan for it. Uh, I did get some other parts as well. Um, so I've got the sliders. So we will just have to put it together and just kind of see where it goes from there. Jordan says I won't do anything with it, so that means we have to do something with it just to prove him wrong. Because he sucks, and so does his mom. Next! The purchase that I was probably most stoked about was this Mashigan. I got this off that one scale guy. Uh, he was a super nice guy. He's semi-local. I believe he's in Ohio as well. Um, so I saw this pretty much as soon as we got there. I got a few things set up, went over there and snagged this up. Uh, it had some wheels and tires on it. He was a little higher than what I wanted to pay. Uh, they were just China wheels, and um, Jordan says they were Pitbull China knockoffs. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I told him, you know, if you keep those and we can get to a price, we'll figure it out. He said that he would take the wheels and tires off and take the ESC, which was just a 1080, um, that he would come down to something I was comfortable with paying. So I at 100% because I don't run 1080s. It's one less 1080 I have to sell later. Uh, I am know that immediately I'm going to modify it and do all sorts of cool things to it. First thing to go is the flares Woo! and these stupid looking step side things and then probably the rear flare. Woo! Slow down! I looked around and I found a whole wraith for 125 bucks that included the AR60s and a three gear that's one of the original three gears that had the little spacers and the cool motor plate but this one does have a slipper so i'm not sure if this was made from different parts or what exactly this was made from and it also has really nice drive shafts i'm not real sure what these are they look like china but i do like the way they're made where these are just a square tube that fits into another square tube so maybe i can cut them down i'm not 100 sure however i paid 125 dollars for this wraith immediately went back to the table started taking it apart took the axles out 
Ka-ching. Took the transmission out. Ka-ching. Kept the drive shafts. Sold the tires and wheels to Jordan for 30 bucks. No big deal. They were just stock wheels. Uh, they were stock bomber wheels, I believe, with tires. And then I sold the cage for $30, $40, something along those lines. Put that back in. So I have roughly 60 bucks in this set of AR60s and this three gear. So what I'm going to do is I will be taking this out probably with the 475s on it. Maybe not the KM3s. I'm not 100% sure yet. I will take it out make some video of it just driving around you know uh, just doing Michigan things stock see what I think of it see how this goes uh, and then I will be obviously doing an AR60 swap custom links uh, get the bumpers off because they hang really low and they're really big especially the back one I hate the back bumper a lot um, and then uh, we'll see what happens so that is that uh, make sure to join my Facebook group Check out my Facebook page and check me out on Instagram, Bullman Built RC across the board. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Think about joining, becoming a channel member, and I will see you later. Bye!